Today marked the second practice of Montana State's fall football camp, and we take a look at the most talked about position battle that's turning heads. All those guys bring a little different element to the game, and I think it'll be fun to see who um, steps up and wins that job. The biggest storyline coming into fall camp for the Montana State football team is who will start at quarterback. After it was announced Chris Murray will miss the entire 2018 season due to academic reasons, it's a tight race. Uh, I think all quarterbacks performed well. They all threw the ball nice. Of course, there's going to be some ups and downs throughout camp. It's the first day. We'll get those mistakes corrected, but overall, I thought they looked pretty good. The battle is between Tucker Rovig, Oregon transfer Travis Johnson, freshman Casey Bauman, and one surprise candidate, Troy Anderson. That's right, the star sophomore running back made his presence felt on opening day. You know, quarterback-wise, we'll go look at it, but I'd say, you know, I'd say probably Troy had the best day, but, uh, you know, also, he rolled with the ones more because Tucker was with the threes and fours in the second set. So it all come out in the wash. We'll get plenty of reps. But being a quarterback is nothing new for the Dillon native. He was a two-time All-State QB for the Beavers. His senior year, he threw for over 1,400 yards, rushed for nearly 900, and scored a combined 30 touchdowns. Does it surprise you about Troy Anderson in the competition at all? I mean, like moving a quarterback? Yeah. No, the kid's a, he's a freak athlete. So he can play a lot of positions on the field. And whatever the coaches think position he's going to play is help our team win. So, no, I have 100% confidence in Troy. Like I said, a freak athlete, he can do it all. And he has for the Cats. Anderson was named the 2017 Big Sky Freshman of the Year. He started at both running back and linebacker last season, racking up almost 600 yards and six touchdowns and nine tackles. Just, I mean, I don't think he's played O-line yet. Maybe he will soon, but, <laughs> or D-line. But, um, yeah, I think it's just going to take some time. I, you know, getting his feet underneath them, and you know he has a pretty strong arm. And but the thing with Troy too is, uh, no matter what his arm shape, he's a smart guy and he can figure it out. And um, once he just takes more reps and gets more experience, that'll help him out a lot. 